Prince Harry, Meghan Markle shock, Duchess reportedly screamed at Duke after Sussex royal ban. Meghan Markle reportedly became very furious after she learned that Queen Elizabeth has banned her and Prince Harry from using the Sussex royal brand. According to New Idea, the Duchess of Sussex was so enraged that she screamed at the Duke of Sussex. A source told the tabloid that Markle couldn't believe that the Queen would do something like that to her and Prince Harry, and she encouraged her husband to do something about it. The insider also said that Prince Harry and Markle were planning on making $1 billion from the Sussex royal brand that's why they're so upset that the Queen effectively killed their plans to make a huge sum of money. The Queen may be 93 but she rules with an iron fist. She's always refused to allow royal members to profit from their positions so she would certainly never allow Harry and Meghan to cash in, the source said. However, these types of claims should be taken with a grain of salt especially since Prince Harry and Markle made it clear that they have no intentions to cash in on the Sussex royal brand. After the Queen banned them from using it, the royal couple released a statement saying that there are no known restrictions from using the word royal but they still have no intention to keep Sussex royal after their exit becomes official next month. Even though Markle is being blamed for her and Prince Harry's bombshell exit, the Duke of Sussex has already made it clear that it was his decision to quit the firm. Prince Harry said that his main priority is to take care of his wife and son, Archie. As such, it is unlikely that Markle is fuming over the Queen's ban. While speaking with Express, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said that it is likely for Prince Harry to be more upset than Markle because he has more to lose. Prince Harry is out of control and creating a nightmare for Prince William and Kate Middleton claims royal source. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's announcement in early January that they intended to step down as senior members of the royal family has caused plenty of problems for Queen Elizabeth. But, how are Prince William and Kate Middleton handling the unprecedented change? Of course, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will never speak publicly about how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's bombshell decision has affected them. But a new report claims that the out-of-control Prince Harry has caused a nightmare for William and Kate. Prince Harry is causing serious problems for royal staff. It was revealed earlier this month that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's office at Kensington Palace had been closed and their staff was fired. This means the Duke and Duchess of Sussex no longer have anyone working for them who is familiar with royal protocol. Last week, it was announced that Middleton and Prince William would be visiting Ireland at the same time that Prince Harry and Markle are scheduled to return to the UK together. And, an insider told Express that this would have never happened if Harry wouldn't have caused so many problems. This sort of diary error would simply not have happened in the days before Harry decided to bail out of royal life, explained the source. That's why members of the royal family have private secretaries, and a grid system, similar to the government's method, to ensure that coverage of important events doesn't clash. The insider went on to say that it's been a nightmare for the staff because there is no longer any control over Prince Harry. Now. He doesn't have anyone working for him who has proper experience of the methods and protocol of the court system. The source says that the Sussexes are now relying on some flash PR person who is used to working in the American entertainment world. The insider described Prince Harry's new employee as more Hollywood than Windsor, and accused them of not respecting the views of the rest of the royal family. Harry and Meghan's return to the UK will overshadow William and Kate. After Queen Elizabeth ruled that Prince Harry and Markle could no longer use Sussex Royal as their worldwide brand name for their post-royal business and charitable efforts, tensions among the royal family were apparently heightened. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex agreed to not use the word royal after their official exit from the family on March 31. But, when they made a comment on their website that Queen Elizabeth didn't have any jurisdiction over the word outside of the UK, they were accused of humiliating the monarch. To make matters worse, Prince Harry's new life is causing problems for his brother and sister in law. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's final day in Ireland will now be overshadowed by Prince Harry and Markle's return to the UK after their move to Canada with their son, Archie Harrison. These will be the final royal engagements for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. While William fully respects Harry's right to come back whenever he wants, 
indeed he is glad that he is returning, however briefly, he wishes that it wasn't at the same time as his Irish trip because he knows what will happen is that the spotlight as far as papers and TV are concerned will be fully on Harry and Meghan, explained the source. Prince William and Middleton are fully aware that Prince Harry and Markle's brief return will be the big story. The insider made it clear that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge aren't jealous of the Sussexes and the coverage they will receive. Prince William hoped that his tour of Ireland with Middleton would get its due media prominence. Queen Elizabeth didn't appreciate being blindsided. Prince Harry and Markle's comment about the Queen not having jurisdiction over the word royal did not sit well with the British press. Former BBC royal correspondent Peter Hunt wrote in an editorial for The Spectator that Queen Elizabeth doesn't take kindly to being bounced or indeed being blindsided. Hunt explained that the monarch does have government regulations and royal rules on her side, and the Sussexes are going to have to deal with the restriction in their self-imposed exile. Sussex royal can be no more. A freshly branded website will have to be rebranded, wrote Hunt making it clear that the Queen's ban of the world royal will hurt Harry and Meghan. Nothing is left of their half-baked plan to change what it meant to be a senior member of the royal family. The status quo has been sustained, said Hunt. What's striking is that Harry, with his deep insider knowledge of how his family functions, clearly thought they might succeed. Hunt said that Prince Harry convinced himself that he could move to Canada and earn his money while remaining the Captain General of the Royal Marines. Unfortunately, says Hunt, a harsh Windsor reality has replaced that misguided optimism. However, Queen Elizabeth didn't completely shut the door on the Sussexes, as she allowed a 12-month transition period where Harry can keep his honorary military titles. And, it's possible that Prince Harry and Markle could change their minds between now and then. No one could have predicted these last few months, not least those enmeshed in it, said Hunt. So only the full hardy would wish to say with any certainty that this is the last we'll see of Prince Harry and Meghan as full-time royals. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wokeness could trash their brand claims expert. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's brand could be damaged because of their perceived wokeness according to a leading marketing expert. The Duke and Duchess have spoken out publicly on a number of social issues including their fight against climate change. Speaking in September 2019 Harry referenced the Swedish environmental activist Greta Thunberg when he spoke out over global warming in Botswana. He said, this last week, led by Greta, the world's children are striking. It's a race against time and one in which we are losing. Everyone knows it. There's no excuse for not knowing that and the most troubling part of that is that I don't believe there's anyone in this world that can deny science. However in the same month the prince was criticized for flying by private jet, following claims he flew privately four times over 11 days. According to Michael Carrington, a senior lecturer in marketing at the University of Melbourne, this has damaged the couple's brand. Writing for ABC Australia he said, the question for brand Harry and Meghan, the Sussex without the royal, is whether corporates and consumers will continue to perceive this as a brand that reflects who they are or who they want to be. The Sussex royal brand image was built around the idea of wokeness, an idea supported by Harry's speech at the 2019 Google Climate Change Conference and their many Instagram posts referencing their environmental and social concerns. But this has already been tarnished. Harry and Meghan were accused of environmental hypocrisy after they were found to have traveled in private jets. The situation was a brand manager's nightmare. Sponsors and consumers alike will already be wondering if this tarnish will rub off onto their own corporate and personal brands. Meghan and Harry sensationally announced they were stepping down from the senior royal duties in January, in order to become financially independent. The couple said they plan to split their time between the UK and North America going forward. However following an agreement with the Queen they have agreed to drop their Sussex royal branding. According to Mr Carrington this risks real damage to Meghan and Harry's brand. He wrote, while Sussex grounds the brand in a tangible peerage, Royal takes the brand into a level of prestige that is desirable yet unattainable, a desire that can only be satisfied by buying into the brand. With the royal removed and even Sussex on potentially shaky ground, 
with public calls for Harry and Meghan to also lose their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. The very core of what Harry and Meghan stood for as a brand is at risk. What remains is at best unclear, and at worst, vacuous. Separately British taxpayers look set to foot the pound's 20 million bill for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's life abroad after the Canadian government refused to pay from March 31st. Scotland Yard officers protecting Harry and Meghan have been receiving assistance from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. But that help will end when they quit their official royal roles at the end of March because they will no longer be legally recognized as internationally protected persons. In a statement, Canada's Office of the Minister of Public Safety said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex choosing to relocate to Canada on a part-time basis presented our government with a unique and unprecedented set of circumstances. At the request of the Metropolitan Police, the RCMP has been providing assistance to the Met since the arrival of the Duke and Duchess to Canada intermittently since November 2019. The assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status.